Hello everyone, James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we have ourselves a knife review. I know it's July, we're halfway past the year and we're barely getting around to our knife reviews. Um, but if you recall for our last video of 2017, when we gave away those Mora Garbergs for Christmas, I let you guys choose what would be my first knife review of the year. And I gave you guys three great contenders and you guys were able to vote which one you wanted to see first. And this one came out on top. The PKS Buffalo Skinner. This beautiful thing right here. And I'm really glad that that won because I like the fact that this knife is so different looking from what we're used to. Normally myself, I'm guilty of it, as well as other channels, we kind of tend to stick around with very uh, a lot of the same knives, a lot of uh, cat part style knives and uh, you know Puko style knives like Mora's and stuff like that. So a design like this, an, an older design, you don't really see too much reviews on or too many companies working on stuff like this. So I'm glad because it's different and you know I, I enjoy history and stuff like that. So I really wanna take, take the time to test this out. Not only that, but PKS really doesn't get a lot of exposure from other channels, surprisingly, I'm not sure why, but so right now we're just gonna go ahead and take a look, give you guys a summary of the blade itself and then talk about the specs and then we're gonna get to testing. So thank you for joining me, stick around. Okay, so let's get the specs out of the way. This blade is made out of 1095 high carbon steel with the blued finish, Scandinavian grind, 90 degree spine. Now the handles are made out of walnut. Now recently the Pathfinder Knife Shop kind of renovated their look, kind of got a new look called Dirty by Design, and they have a different look. They have a forged finish look on the handle, I'm, I'm sorry, on the blade, and the handle's made out of a different type of wood. Uh, this is the older version, so I don't have access to the new one. This wasn't sent to me. This is something I bought for myself last year. Now you can purchase this knife. You know, it's made here in the United States. And now in case you want, I do believe I paid about $75, going on 80 bucks for the knife itself. But if you'd like, you could get yourself a sheath. And this sheath right here is just leather, just very simple. And I very much like this. I'm very much a fan of just simplicity when it comes to sheaths. I don't even like a ferro rod loop on my sheaths. So nice leather, fits in there very snug. And there's a little drain hole here in case you know it gets wet or whatever. But a very nice knife. Once again, made here in the United States. For, from Dave Canterbury's shop, and a beautiful knife. Once again, just emulating that look from the older times, the Lewis and Clark expedition and the Mountain Man era. So I very much like that historical look. So let's get to testing. Now, first things first, this is designed to be your modern belt knife for you know bushcraft activities, stuff like that. So as, you know, as usual, we're gonna have to do the one stick fire, see how it does with batoning. And uh, honestly, I have no fear on that. I've batoned with this knife before with that Scandinavian grind, that one eighth inch thick blade with the 90 degree spine, it's gonna be able to just do your one stick fires very easy. So let's go ahead and put that to the test. Let's get started. Now, for those wondering, this is cottonwood. Cottonwood is not a very hard wood, but um, it's a, kind of an abundant wood in this region. You know, we don't have a lot of trees here. And it's, it's very good cooking wood as well. I just gotta be careful because the floor here is rock and I don't wanna ding up my blade. stubborn piece of cottonwood and so you can tell it's very knotty in there.
Well guys, as you can see, it was able to baton very easily, and then of course with that Scandinavian grind, it was able to make some very easy feather sticks. Now, the back of the spine is 90 degree spine. It is very sharp, very good. So can it strike a ferro rod? No doubt about it. Easily. So I can easily ignite that this way, correct? However, let's make it a little bit more challenging. Once again, it's 1095 high carbon steel. So as Dave is always preaching, you know, he likes high carbon steel because you can make a fire with it. In case you lost everything else but your knife, all you gotta do is find yourself a hard piece of rock like chert or quartz or flint and you can get yourself a fire. So that's what we're gonna be trying today. Just to make things just a little bit more interesting. Okay, here's a piece of char cloth. Let's put two just to make it a little easier for us because we've got to hurry on here. Here we go. There we go. Just using the back of this spine. Let's put this away. get some tinder out so once again in case you lost everything but your high carbon steel blade you find yourself a hard rock Success. Whoa. <laughs> well, as you can see, it was able to baton and feather stick just fine. It was also able to strike a fire, not only as with a ferro rod, but just using it as a flint and steel method because if it's a high carbon blade. And it worked just fine as, as that as well. And now we have ourselves a rabbit that we purchased at a nearby farm. And we're going to use this to butcher as the name of the blade, as the design implies. We're going to test it out, butcher this down, quarter it down, and then we're going to cook it for lunch. So let's see how that handles.
All right, folks, so our rabbit has been cooking for about 25 minutes. I'd say she's ready, nice and golden. So, moment of truth. Oh, yeah, nice and white, nice and flaky. Really soft meat. Really good stuff, guys. So, now it's time to chow down. Now, before we let you guys go, let me give you guys my final thoughts on this blade, the PKS Buffalo Skinner. As you could tell, it handled its three tests just fine. Batoning, feather sticking, it did great. The fact that it's one eighth inch thick with the Scandinavian grind, it was able to handle that just fine. Now, it's also a high carbon steel blade and Dave Canterbury is very big on high carbon steel because you can make a fire if needed. If you last, lost your pack hiking and the pack fell over somehow and you're, you know, you're away from all your amenities and you still have your belt knife, you could still make a fire finding a flint rock, a church, quartz, anything like that, striking it and you can get a fire going. And then last test was of course butchering game. As the name implies, Buffalo Skinner, this design would have been, would lent itself very well to a game processing larger game, you know, elk, deer, buffalo. We don't have that right now, so we just got ourselves a little rabbit to enjoy. And as you could tell, it did very great. It just sliced very good. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the PKS Buffalo Skinner. As you could tell, it's a very well-made blade. Um, it handled its test very well. And just so we're all on the same page, guys, this was not sent to me by Dave or Self-Reliance Outfitters. I bought this blade about a year ago with my own money. So I really like this knife, a welcome addition to my collection just because it looks so different and old school. And I love that. I'm a, you know, I'm a big fan of the old school stuff. So really good, great blade. If I had to nitpick some things I didn't particularly like is one, the handle can get a little uh, not as comfortable as knives that we're used to, like Moras and stuff like that. Now, once again, that comes with the territory of, you know, an old school knife. And back then they weren't so, you know, spoiled as we are nowadays. Something else that I've noticed that I didn't get a chance to talk about here in this video is because of that Scandinavian grind, it's not as good as slicing like say veggies like potatoes as other knives are but once again i mean this isn't really if you're going to be out in the woods you're not going to have just one knife chances are you're going to have a swiss army knife with you a case knife some folder knife that can handle it so you know it's going to work just fine um other than that guys it's a great blade just just making sure that we're, we're all on the same page here as well as that it's a high carbon steel blade and the handle is made out of organic material. This is walnut. So be sure to always wipe it down when it gets wet with blood or whatever the case may be. And then from there, just, you know, whenever on your spare time, just give it a light coating of oil. I always use personally olive oil for everything since, you know, you could use it with food. And uh, that's about it. So great knife. Uh, now we're just going to enjoy our meal here and enjoy this beautiful summer evening out here in the desert, West Texas. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And go ahead and comment below if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.